So if you've been following the Calamity news recently, you probably know about a lot of the armor reworks as well as uh, multiple spoilers that were shown on iBen's Twitter. This includes the Wolfram armor rework, Desert Prowler, uh, the one builder armor that no one can pronounce correctly, and hooks that now use proper physics. If you've seen my channel at all, you know that I really like exploiting mechanics. And given that this is one revolving around hooks, my favorite mechanic in the game, uh, there's no doubt in my mind that I want to do some funny shenanigans with this. But for context before I move forward, I gotta backpedal just a little bit. On May 10th, during the recordings of No Accessories Part 5, someone in the Twitch chat mentioned a funny interaction between Hooks and the newly added weapon Glory's End. Glory's End basically allows you to move while you're hooked, which could kind of break collision in the game and allow you to clip through walls and blocks. And given this knowledge, I had an idea. I had mentioned to Iban on Twitter that I would exploit the shit out of these mechanics. And shortly after that, I got a reply from Shay, who is a Calamity beta tester. He is also a Undertale speedrunner and a no-hitter. And so I decided to reach out to him. I told him about the idea of using Glory's End with the new hook mechanics, as I figured given that it affects normal hooks in a weird way, maybe it will do the same for the new mechanic. What would you know, a few hours later, he sends me this. Keep in mind he needed to get approval to do so. And then a few hours later, he sent me this. And lastly, he sent me this. <laughs> Yeah, no, that, that's... <laughs> so yeah, with a little help, I'm proud to present Burden Breaker 2.0. I've been told me that I would suffer a terrible fate if I find out it's too broken and has to be nerfed into a no-fun state. So, um... Yeah, I should probably apologize for that. Oops. <laughs> 